y'all. I had to do this intro slash outro on the way to my destination because your girl is running late. But you could definitely see my color. I freaking love it. I'm just praying for the rain to just hold off. Just hold off a little bit. My hair keeps getting stuck on lip gloss. Praise God. It's a struggle. The ultimate struggle right now. I'm going to meet my friends for lunch before I get on my train and I'm like literally late AF. I just wanted to come and say hello. And if you guys like my hair, make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below. Follow me on my socials. You know where they at, but I love y'all. I just wanted to come and show my hair again. Okay, I'll see y'all later. What's up my babies, welcome back to my channel. This is another video with Kay. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button. We're gonna hop right into this video. I am going to transform this curly wig from Original Queen Hair. Make sure you guys check out the description box for all the links to this wig. And um, I'm using this box dye. My goal is to go for like a burgundy-ish color. I don't really want it to be red, but I want it to be burgundy for sure. So I am using the little squirt thingy majig very like very loosely and i'm just trying to apply as much product as possible all over the hair you can see the bottom is kind of turning a little bit but yeah so i'm not being very um cautious of the lace to be honest with you all um i don't have a mannequin head here with me so i'm kind of like you know kind of going with the flow ish but definitely if you have a mannequin head this process will be so much easier for you and this is me attempting to try to not get it on the lace but um yeah y'all will see in the next couple clips that that didn't really work out okay my babies so we back here's how the hair turned out you literally cannot see it but as y'all can see I got so much dye on the lace, so please make sure. I don't really care because I know how to kind of fix it. I don't have a mannequin head, so it's very hard for me to like part off the hair and pin it and all of that stuff. If you have a mannequin head, it's gonna be so much more easy for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some foundation and I'm just gonna put it on my lace and that's gonna just lighten it up, especially around the hairline area. Cause I want, we obviously want our lace to be, you know, very blendable. So here is how she's looking now. And the wig cap that I have on is lighter, um, but I'm just gonna use the excess, the excess on the brush and just add that on there. I don't know if y'all can see the color or not, but like she's there. You could probably see her in the light for sure, but you can't really see her when it's not light outside. I wanted a more bold look, but you know, this is what we got. I'm gonna use my um, Got To Be Glue Gel and I'm gonna put on a small layer. Let me pull her back up. dry my hair um i'm gonna blow it out because i really i really want to see what this hair does when it's straight so i'm gonna definitely test the limits i'm gonna blow it out i'm gonna use this heat protectant this is just a heat protectant keratin spray and whenever you put heat on your hair always use a heat protectant it makes your hair last longer this is for your weave your wigs and your natural hair let's see oh this smells good oh it smells really good So 
she's all blown out. And yes, her face is beat. <laughs> I want it to be like a blown out type of a straighten. I'm not gonna make it like go through in bone straight sleeky because I really want it to be nice and fluffy. But she's so soft. Oh my gosh, this hair is so soft. If you guys wanna know about this hair, by the way, make sure you check the link in the description box below. I have my Infinity Pro Conair. It's a super old flat iron. And I have it on... 392. I don't have it all the way at the top, like I said, because I really want it to be like a fluffy look. Literally, this is about to be the fastest straightener, like flat iron ever. kind of semi see the color i love this look though i didn't bump the ends because i'm kind of feeling like i don't know what i'm feeling like but i do see that the ends are kind of split so i'm gonna kind of even them out a little bit i do like that it kind of shapes my face already so i don't have to cut layers in it for real but that's this right here that ain't cute i gotta hurry up but i'm gonna cut this just like that Straight like that. That looks a little bit, bit better. We'll go with it. I'm gonna bump it just a little bit on the end, just a little bit. Not too much, but just give it a small, slight little bump. This is giving me um, Sanaa Latham vibes off of, uh, what movie was that she looked like this one? Was it Love and Basketball or was it Brown Sugar? Nah, I'm loving this look though. So you can't really see my part. I'm gonna take my wax stick and I'm just kinda gonna um, give some flatness to this a little bit. That's my little trick. And of course, baby is flat. This is giving me like natural texture vibes. It's so freaking soft. Like, it's super duper soft. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp, honey. Y'all better quit playing with me, girl. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of powder along my part so that you can see it. Cause we can't see little baby. And we need to see her. I'm not really worried about baby hairs because baby don't do baby hairs anyway. I mean, the hairline is pretty natural looking. So this is the finished look, my babies. I'm feeling it so much. Yes, honey, yes, honey. Blown out. This is giving me kinky straight vibes. Like, I love it so much. That's the end of this video. I really have to go. I am so sorry, y'all, but like, I literally gotta go. But that is all for this video. Make sure if you like it, you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love y'all so freaking much. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Like, give me a kiss. Mwah.